Okay, students, this is the first video um, for the Literary Knowledge Skill Builder Packet for uh, the Iliad. Um, I intended to send these videos earlier. I just couldn't get I just couldn't get it done. I've been really busy this weekend, but I wanted to make sure that you had it since I had a couple of students um, send me messages on how to do it. So um, here it goes. Um, for the first, you should look at these as worksheets first of all. And maybe some of you have already seen them. Maybe you did them in maybe Mrs. Lopez. So the first sheet here is has to do with your reading standard. Can you evaluate characters and events? What does it mean to evaluate? It's one of our vocabulary words that means to judge. Can you judge a character or form an opinion about a character or events just by looking at the facts or the descriptions that the author is giving you? Um, part of it is being able, part of being understanding and reading a book those of you who are who are readers by nature already understand this. You have to read between the lines and make up your own impressions about the book. And that's maybe where the whole point of reading is, is that you create kind of a mind movie in your mind about a about a book and about the characters and what happens in the story. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly read the directions. As you read book one of the Iliad, you should examine why important characters such as Agamemnon and Achilles act the way they do. You should also look for the causes of major events, such as the plague and the feud between Agamemnon and Achilles. Finally, you should evaluate or form your own opinions about the poem's characters and events. Use the chart below to record motives, or in other words, reasons for causes and your evaluations. Examples have been provided. So we have here our pretend student here who's done the first one for us. Now, the way you're, the way you're looking at this, uh, at this chart here, is they've given you the uh, the the they've given you the character or, or the event or some fact that appears in the in the in the story about them in the poem. So the first one they tell you where to look. So again, you'll look there. But based on this, you have to think deeply. You have to come draw your own conclusion. Come to your own conclusion about why that is. Their motive. You have to figure out the motive for that. It might be uh, it might be obvious. Okay, because you've all read the story already. But what's not so obvious, and this is what I mean, that you have to, on the basis of that motive, you have to figure out um, what is that saying about this event or character. So the first, let's look at the first one. Let's look at the example that they give us here. Apollo sends up this, remember this book, what? Apollo sends a plague upon the Greeks. That's from the book. That is a truth. That is a fact. So what's the motive for, for Apollo sending the plague? Okay, to punish Agamemnon for taking the daughter of his priest as a war price. So here we have a character. You have to. Uh, they give you a description about a character in the story, meaning Apollo, who's a god. And so by there, you have to figure out his motive. So his motive again is to punish Agamemnon for for taking the daughter of his priest. So what you have to do now, what this pretend student has done, is that they've drawn their own conclusions about what is this trying to say. They have to read between the lines, come to their own opinion, their own conclusion. This person says that based on what happens here, what the character, what it says in the story about this event, or this character, I should say, and what the mo what he believes the motive is, he, he he's basically infers or he evaluates that Apollo is a proud god who seeks revenge. So he's calling him proud and vengeful. And I think that there's enough evidence in the text to, from what this, what this person, pretend student, said that that's, that's why he's punishing um, Agamemnon, that he is vengeful. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do this, the next one for you guys, and then you guys have to do the rest. And then we'll watch the next one. Y'all make, I'll create another video. In lines uh, 135, 139, 159, and 164, Agamemnon offers to return for the priest's daughter in exchange for Achilles' prize, Briseis. That's Achilles' war prize again. What was his motive for this? Okay, what was his mo What was Agamemnon? Again, we're evaluating Agamemnon. What's Agamemnon's uh, motive uh, for wanting to take Achilles' prize? Was because since his was snatched away, he wants to. Um, he wants his own. So his modem is, is uh, he needs and his was snatched away. My evaluation, if I was a student in the class, would be because he's greedy and he's proud and he cares about his reputation. Something along those lines. I'm going to go ahead and end the video because it's going to stop right now. Go ahead and write it down, and I'll see you in the next video.